What's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. It's the Toronto Pro this weekend on a Sunday. Men's Open Bodybuilding pre-judging just wrapped up. I know that threw some people off. Typically, it's on a Saturday. But this was a pretty interesting show, and I think it was pretty competitive, just like we expected it to be. It was kind of the guys that we anticipated to be in that top four. So the final call-out at the end of pre-judging was four guys. It was Ross Flanagan, who just won the Cali Pro. Ian Valier. Hassan Mustafa, and on the very end there is a guy named Robin Strand. Now, I thought it was interesting they didn't do a top two comparison because I thought after the first prejudging, they kind of had Hassan and Ian in the center the whole time. I thought it would be a Hassan and Ian top two call out at the very end of prejudging, but they didn't do that, which I thought was interesting. So I think a lot of people thought this was going to be a slam dunk for Ian Valier. I don't think that was the case here. Honestly, I felt like Ian was a little bit off here. It looked like he was shaking a little bit in some of the poses or just struggling a little bit more than he usually does. And to me, I kept I kept getting drawn to his chest. His chest, he looked a little bit flat throughout the upper body, but particularly in the chest. If you watch his chest next to Hassan in a lot of these poses, to me, his chest looked really flat in a lot of the shots. Now, for me, the guy that my eyes were most drawn to here was Hassan. He was just, he looked so massive in this lineup, even next to Ian Valier, who's not a small guy. But for example, when you see Ross Flanagan, who just won the Cali Pro, this is a good bodybuilder, a good pro, a show-winning Olympia qualified pro. Look at Ross next to Hassan. The size difference, just how thick and dense Hassan is, just overall crazy muscular guy. And his conditioning here was not bad. I would say Ross was the most conditioned guy out of this top group. Robin Strand was pretty ripped up too. But when you talk about getting outsized and just overwhelming muscle, that's what Hassan was here to me. And I was impressed. We've been talking about this illness that Hassan had where his doctor recommended he skip the Olympia. He couldn't compete. It doesn't look like that slowed him down at all. I don't think his physique really suffered at all from that. If anything, he looks bigger here. He, looked, he just looks so big. In these comparisons, his arms, his chest, his legs, in those side profile shots, he just looks crazy. And I'm trying to give you guys multiple vantage points here. So one of the videos was from the live stream. This other video is from my buddy Richie, who was there front row in the crowd. So shout out to Richie for the extra footage here. So you guys can kind of get two different vantage points on how these guys were looking. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's still going to be between Hassan and Ian for one and two. Based on the way they were comparing them in that first, the very first call out, it seemed like Ross is going to be in that third place spot. It looks like they were really moving around Ross, Ian, and Hassan. But this seems like a really tough one to call because while Hassan has this overwhelming muscle, I think the big thing that really hinders his physique is the midsection. I think Ian has a much better flow and just overall shape. And he's just he's got a prettier physique to look at than Hassan, even though Hassan has this overwhelming muscle. That midsection just really gives him a blocky look, and that's what we talk about when we talk about a huge guy like Samson, a 300-plus pound guy that has a really good V-taper. That's why we give guys like Samson so much credit, because they still have this really impressive amount of size, but they also have a really good flow to their physique. You see a guy like Hassan that has this impressing, uh, impressive, overwhelming amount of size, but it's that midsection and that lack of like a really discernible V-taper that throws his physique off a little bit. So again, kind of like the Cali Pro with uh, Tonio and Ross, it's kind of an apples and oranges comparison here. I think the conditioning between Hassan and Ian was close, comparable, but Ian, I, I would say, was definitely flatter than Hassan. Hassan just had this round, full, crazy, dense muscle, um, but Ian had that better flow, a little bit better structure, a little bit more pleasing to look at. He definitely got the biggest crowd reaction, but he is at home in Canada, so he's kind of the, the hometown hero here, the favorite, and I think that's probably more why he got that reaction. So honestly, for Ian's first time working with Matt Jansen, I wasn't blown away. I don't think this is the best Ian that we've seen. Now, my gut wants to say that Ian would be the safe pick to win. I just My gut says the judges might go with Ian, but personally, I preferred Hassan here. My eyes were just drawn to Hassan more. I, I feel like his conditioning was good enough here. Again, the midsection did throw it off, but just crazy overwhelming muscle. He was full. He was in shape. I don't, I don't think this is the best we've ever seen him, but overall, I think a really good look for him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think your, your final placing is going to be here? Do you think Ian's going to take it? Do you think Hassan's going to take it? What do you think about Ian's first time here working with Matt Jansen? What do you think about Ross Flanagan? Is there anybody that thinks Ross might win this show as well as Callie? 
Like I said, I do still feel like Ross was probably the most conditioned guy in this top four. So I don't think that's entirely out of the uh, realm of possibility, but I think it's likely between Hassan and Ian here. But I do think it's noteworthy that they did not do a specific top two call out that clearly showed us it was between those two. But it is worth pointing out that pretty much this entire time, those two were in the center. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. The finals will be, they were supposed to start at three, but I think they're running a little bit late here because it's already almost three at the time that I'm recording this and prejudging just wrapped up. So I think they're starting it a half an hour late at 3.30. And again, special thank you to Richie for the bonus footage here. So I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out. All right, guys. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.